Well, hello again, ServiceNow community, and welcome to another episode of Did You Know? I'm Christy, and in today's episode, we're featuring some fun facts about the Glide record that can help up your scripting game and even boost your query performance. So let's jump right in, shall we? Fun fact number one, boost performance with add extra fields. This one's been making its rounds around the community lately, and it's actually what inspired the creation of this episode. But just in case you missed it, by default, our Glide record queries only fetch the sys ID for reference fields. Now this means that extra queries are made whenever you access dot walk fields like caller ID dot location. Now starting in our Washington release, you can use add extra field and tell Glide record to grab those fields up front, reducing extra lookups and thus improving your performance. Now this becomes especially helpful for performance when we dot, dot walk two or more references. Like in this example, we're adding the locations contact from the caller ID field. Fun fact number two, use initialize for custom records. Use initialize to prep a rep record without actually inserting it. It's a really great way for testing or building records dynamically before you actually insert. But you might be asking yourself, how's that different from new record? You see the difference between initialize and new record lies in how they prepare a glide record object for creating a new record and whether they actually populate the default values. Initialize prepares glide record objects for creating a new record without populating those default values. Whereas new record, you guessed it, prepares a glide record object for creating a new record and does populate the default values. Those default values are all based on table settings, dictionary entries, or even system defaults. Now let's take a look at an example. Now in this script, I'm creating two incidents, one with the initialize method and the other with the new record method. The incident table has an assignment rule for the category of hardware to automatically assign to our good buddy, Fred Luddy. But when we look at the resultant records that we created, we'll see that the one created with the initialize method did not auto populate the assignee field from our rule, where this one created with the new record method did. Fun fact number three, use add encoded query for advanced filters. You can save a load of time by using add encoded query to handle complex conditions like in one line. It's a great way to replicate those UI filters in code. So if you've ever seen a filter in the UI and you've wanted to replicate that in your script, you can easily copy that encoded query directly from the UI filter builder and paste it into your script just like this. You can also save these encoded queries and variables to make them more modular and reusable throughout your script. So you can also do things like dynamically building an encoded query at runtime. This script is dynamically appending conditions to the query based on the user's role. It's a simple example, but the possibilities are endless. Fun fact number four, query subqueries with add join query. <sighs> That's a lot of queries. Use add join query to fetch related records directly. And now here we're finding incidents with active SLAs. So we don't need to do multiple queries. Now this may sound a little like add extra fields, but while they both deal with related data in a Glide record, they serve entirely different purposes and are used in distinct scenarios. So for example, if you need to apply filters or conditions based on a related record, use add join query. But if you just need to access additional fields from a reference table, use add extra fields. Fun fact number five, retrieve field names dynamically with Kip fields. Want to discover a table's fields dynamically? Use Kip fields. It's especially useful when you're working with unknown or changing schemas, because that never happens, right? The get fields method returns an object containing all the fields in the current record. Now this is really great for debugging or dynamically generating a list of fields without hard coding them. Now in this example, we're querying the incident table and returning a list of all the available fields with the exception of the sys generated ones. You'll notice that before we call the get fields method, however, we're running the query first, because if we don't, this method is gonna return empty. If you wanna just return the fields with no values, you can omit the next statement here. Fun fact number six, fetch a subset of records with choose window. Choose window is a glide record method that limits your records returned by your query into a specific range. It's incredibly useful for scenarios like pagination or batch processing. This script fetches records for page one with each page containing 10 records. The first argument in the choose window function is the first row index to retrieve. The second argument is the first row not to retrieve. And that's because the rows zero based index, meaning the first row is actually row zero. Now, if I were writing this for an actual implementation, then I'd also write some logic to loop through the remaining rows with something like a button click. But for demo purposes, you'll see when I change the current page number, it continues to show the next set of records until I get to the end. 
If you're building a UI that loads records in chunks, Choose Window helps you implement pagination effortlessly. But there are some things to keep in mind while using Choose Window in your scripts. For consistent results, make sure that you always pair Choose Window with an order by or an order by descending to ensure predictable results across all your queries. And just like all our other query methods, make sure that your query fields are indexed to avoid performance issues when dealing with large data sets. Well, there you have it, folks. Some glide record fun facts to level up your development game. Which was your favorite? Or do you have your own? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to catch more quick tips in our Did You Know series. See you next time.